Okay, so in the past we measure MRD using multi-gated, uh, multi-colored uh, flow cytometry. We're able to catch uh, one cell out of 10,000, uh, one malignant cell out of um, 10,000 uh, normal cells. Now with uh, uh, newer uh, MRD technologies such as a clonal we are theoretically supposed to be able to catch one malignant cell out of a million normal cells. So we are making headways. If you ask me what is the best technology, let me tell you, I wanted to be able to fish out one million, one cell out of uh, 10 million uh, normal cells, even 100, 1 billion. My dream would be 1 million. If we reach the 1 billion, we have reached the we will be able to catch anything before they arrive. We can wipe them up before they become anything. So that would be the dream come true. So why sell out a billion? But that's a theoretical number. We are so far be able to reach at a current level one out of a million cell by the clonal But clonal seek uses, you uh, take advantage of the clonal revolution of the clone, and but you have to use a significant amount of material before the tumor. And uh, what's coming up is, uh, the MRD in the field of lymphoma is called a measurement or circulating tumor DNA. So CT DNA. CT DNA, well, you can imagine that uh, our um, tumor has blood supplies. The blood supplies came from the body. The, the blood are shared by normal cells and the malignant cells. But when the blood flow through the malignant tissue, and invariably, little DNA fragments due to the high proliferation and the uh, rate of turnover rate of the tumor. So some of the DNAs get shed off into the blood circulation and it circulated in our blood. So that's where we are applying the most sensitive technologies to, to detect circulating DNA. That's where the DNA come from. So there's many, many technologies on that. In one issue of science uh, translational uh, uh, medicine, five papers are published from different institutions using five different methods. For, for example, the most uh, fashionable methods is to, to, to do is to mirror that we know what uh, has been mutated in lymphoma. We all use all the genes and we use the DNA uh, primers to detect all those um, circulated DNAs that uh, belong to lymphoma. So we not only can detect the minimal residual disease, we can also know that what the health tumor has become resistant to, what clone came back, what belong to which gene. So using multiple gene for gene mutations, we're able to measure specifically circulated DNA. This is the most fashionable technology coming up and um, very exciting. Serial PET or CT scan, very expensive and also expose the patient with a lot of radiation. And uh, MRD, on the other hand, is just a blood test. So it's much cheaper, quicker, convenient, and uh, more accurate. So MRD, especially the circular CT DNA, are the future. And it's going to be realized within five to ten years. And uh, so I think MRD is the future. MRD will replace the majority, of the majority of the CT scans and PET scans and even bone marrow biopsies in the field of lymphoma. And this is very important. And we look forward to that development to be widely used in the community.